Good morning, my beautiful thick and thinners. This is your first time here. Hi, my name is Vanessa and I go by That Girl Squats. And we are about to go to California for the first time this year. I look like a hot mess express, but that is because we are in the process of packing and cleaning and getting ready. I have a meeting at 10. It's 9.05 right now. And I just kind of wanted to give you guys an insight of what I do to prepare for a five-day trip and how I plan on staying on track during this five-day trip. So let's get into it. You might have saw in a recent video, I actually got a new Insta360 and I am using this for a lot of my footage in this trip, but that means that I lost a couple of things like my packing and the rest of my like food prep and everything, but we made it to the airport. I had some extra time to myself to like wander the terminal and everything, made it onto the jetway and everything fairly seamlessly and then I was able to edit some of these videos while I was waiting in the flight, but I died eventually. So we finally made it to Salt Lake City. It was a beautiful terminal. I loved it and there was so much snow and it looked really fun. And this trip, I actually ended up having a longer layover than what was anticipated. I was supposed to land at like three and then I didn't like get onto the flight until like five so it was another two hours but I finally made it and immediately made some mistakes but we will get into that. Okay 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 I did a boo-boo. I went to the wrong terminal. Hopefully this is it. I don't know, but I went to the wrong terminal, and now I'm trying to find my bag, so we should be left there. Found it. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Friday morning, and we are walking to the gym. So, it's about half a mile. I need to get some water, because, you know, hydrated muscles are happy muscles, and happy muscles grow. Anyways, last night was a shit show, to say the least. Since my first flight got delayed, my second flight got delayed, or technically I could have made the second flight, but I would have had to run my ass to the next flight. And your girl was not having that. So the connecting flight was at 5.30 instead of 3. Then because other people's flights got connected, the flight was overbooked and then they were looking for somebody to you know switch off to a different flight to a 10 p.m flight and i almost took it to get like a 600 color voucher but then i realized i would have had to wait at the place for like six hours but so yeah then i ended up going on to the 5 30 flight but it was delayed again. I got my flight in at like 7.30 and then I couldn't find my bags because my bags got here before I did with the original flight. And then I also went to the wrong terminal. It was okay though, it was fine. I got Rice Krispie Treat because of it. So, you know, win-win. Then like, my Uber driver was stinky, but, like, tried to mask it with cologne or Axe body spray or something. Eh, whatever. I'm here safe. That's all that matters. We're about to get this workout in. Happy to get my morning steps, which kind of makes it easy because we have a busy day. We are going to grab my rental vehicle after the gym 
at 8. And then after 8, I'm just going to get ready. Maybe just head to Petaluma and hang out at a coffee shop until 11.30. Because that's whenever I meet with Buck Lucky or the Buck Lucky team. We're going to do some video shoots. And then after, I have no idea. Maybe just hang out in San Francisco. I don't know. We'll see. It's a surprise to you and me. Okay, bye. So I made it to the Crunch Fitness on Polk Street. It was beautiful. And I love their choice of like parodies of movies to make it more fitness friendly, which was super cool. It was a little bit of an issue with my Active and Fit membership, but Charles got me situated. So I was able to work out with out an issue again thank you to charles and good luck on your promotion but the facility was absolutely beautiful if you couldn't tell this was an old theater so it was really cool to see and i felt like there was a lot of mood lighting which was definitely different and i enjoyed it though so you know we gotta do what you gotta do originally i went in anticipating doing a like upper body day but seeing the equipment I just decided to do my leg day honestly I think I'm gonna go back to doing like three days a week uh, to finally like get my last bit of growth on my legs before I start working with another coach here in the next couple of months I'm still not sure if I'm going to get another coach until after my boob job but we'll see I did enjoy this trip and ate to my heart's content with my own parameters, you know. But as soon as I've gotten back, I've definitely been into a bodybuilding mind shift, which is super nice, especially because we have another trip coming up here in a couple of weeks, which I'm super excited to tell you about. But that being said, I was super tight and it was definitely a grind especially because I didn't eat I just got done traveling I had very minimal sleep and you know I was fasted so those are all kind of things but I was sweating up a storm which I think is also kind of a good sign I guess because I've definitely been trying to make sure that my heart rate is raised even though I do wear my watch on my ankles but yeah those are all small things that I've been I've been doing an amazing leg day workout. I didn't go as heavy as I normally would, but keep in mind I had about six hours of sleep and traveling all day yesterday and I'm just getting off my period, but I had really good mind and muscle connection. So that is, again, something that I've been focusing on, dropping the ego, dropping the weight, and just getting it in. I could tell during my squats my like hips were very very tight but it's okay we got it done we're gonna go get ready then pick up the car then probably go get some Trader Joe's your girl needs to eat that was also another thing I didn't eat before my training which it didn't feel terrible like it was a fasted workout which I never do anymore but I did want to start getting into the groove of like actually just doing more fasted stuff again. So I think this is the perfect opportunity to start that trend. So some of you guys might know, I actually lived in San Francisco for a while in my 20s and I absolutely loved it. And being there again reminded me of all the reasons why I did love it and all the reasons why I didn't love it. So one of the things was that it was just so beautiful walking around the area and just seeing stuff. But I grabbed my car and we went to Trader Joe's before my next meeting. So it was kind of 
a rush day, I feel like. And after grabbing my car, I got ready, obviously, and then went to Petaluma to meet with Lena of Buck Lucky. I was there for a while, was still editing some videos while she, I waited for her, and then we went to go do some shoots at the shop, which was super cute. And if you want to go and visit them, I would highly suggest it. They have a lot of cute clothes that are very reasonably priced, and you can find them in the heart of the Highly, highly, highly. tell it is a highly eclectic shop and it was beautiful but I didn't get any footage from the remainder of the day so let's go to the next day which is Saturday where we went to Japantown at the very beginning I got some katsu and did some shopping and then headed out to Novato to go and see the Buck Lucky Fest which you will see here able to join me so it was just fun to kind of show her what I do uh, she's actually seen like some of my footage from like behind the scene footage from doing some bodybuilding stuff now she's able to see this side of things and it's just really cool to have somebody she was kind of like my gaffer for the day but yeah so this was I believe the Michael Michael motorcycle band and then the Happies. The Happies were so much fun to watch. They had such a big crowd and their songs were just vibing, you know. And so they did a couple of Sublime songs, but the crowd wasn't feeling it. I was, but yeah, really enjoyed them. So check them out. Nick is super nice and appreciated them all. After the show, we ended up going back to my aunt's house. I built her a desk and we did some cleaning. Then the next day I got up and we went to my mom's house and we just like watched Netflix all day. And I didn't record that just because it was some quality time. And then the following day, it was wake up early in the morning, go to the gym and then spend time with my aunt, my mom 
and my grandma which you'll get to meet here in a little bit but seriously like this trip was the best way to start the trip and it's only another couple of weeks until I get to see my mom again for her birthday because she is a leap year baby and I know she's gonna go buck wild but it's okay I'm excited to share that with you Oh yeah, and this leg day was an absolute killer. I started with deadlifts, and then went to squats, then to hack squats, then to some accessories. It was a shoo-in, but I love my mom. She's just so cute. Anyways, this was pretty much the end of the trip. So if you like this kind of content, I would love to share some more of my personal stuff and, you know, let you in on the insight of my life. But thank you all so much. I love you. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Okay, bye.